have you, how have you found lockdown as a band? Has it been like quite productive? Have you managed to kind of pass some writing um, around instead? We've done, I mean, to be honest, it's been more promoting for the, for the single than anything else at the moment. We've passed a couple of ideas around uh, that we've got, we've got about 40 odd ideas or something like that. Of, oh, wow. Of, of, of that it's sort of always on the back burner and then occasionally we'll sort of put one out and go, oh yeah, let's, let's use that. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're toying with a couple of things at the moment um, and programmer and he's learned the, the the keyboards and piano over the last how many years and he's been tinkering away um at home with a few things that he's sending he sent to me and i'm going to be working on some little vocal ideas and bits of bobs over the top um, but mostly it's just been working out promotion for the single and, and getting that side of things done so that's kind of occupied our time quite nicely really yeah it's um, a lot of love bands have been yeah. saying it's been quite a productive time because you can focus on things like that like marketing and things like that it's kind yeah. of like giving you a lot of time to push that solely which yeah is... yeah we, we've all got a little bit more time on our hands so, um, <laughs> yeah. there's no there's no distractions of going to the pub uh, or anything but that's it know. that's a big but distraction the, yeah, well, we've all managed to order quite a sort of fair amount of booze uh, <laughs> for ourselves, um, yeah. you know, to, to, to keep the uh, creative juices uh, going. But no, it's, it's been, we've had a couple of little video conference calls, which are a thing to behold, because um, they, they sort of go like the way when we're playing music together, it sort of goes off in a weird tangent, so all our video calls end up going off in a weird tangent. Um, I think I saw one of the photos you posted on social media and someone was a foot or something. That was Neil, yeah. Neil, Neil uh, transmogrified into a foot uh, in the middle of it. Um, and I was in, I was in my um, studio. It's way too hot because to, it's warm. It's, it's literally like a shed with insulation. So I'd, I'd melt down there if I was down there now. Um, but that was when it was a little bit cooler. And I, my studio is literally just full of... Um, crap but um, interesting crap so every time somebody like Neil would put a filter on I'd grab something I've got like a full size raptor head in there so like I'd grab something and it was like I physically got it you, you just got the filter so uh, but it's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, but it, yeah it's, it's been good um, and yeah it's, it's sort of just keeping busy um, I'm homeschooling my daughter which is interesting yeah. um, you know because it, it's just trying to get the You've had Easter in the middle of it, so it was like two weeks of uh, getting to sort of do schooly things, I and mean, then suddenly Easter comes on, and it's like, well, it's Easter. You know, you shouldn't have to do a lot of work. And since then, it's like, right, it's school time now. It's school time now, and she's like, going, no, no, I want to go play outside. <laughs> and it's, um, so it's just, yeah, it, it's it's fun, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good that you've kind of got Sorry. a bit of a balance between it as well because your Oppenheimer EP that was really mm -hmm. good. I love the soundscape Thank you. you kind of create as well. Thank you very much. It's nice. yeah. It seems like a really nice creative process. How you make your music? Is it quite like that? Is it quite a jam session? Yeah, I mean, um, Oppenheimer is sort of like part one of it. So it's from um, a, a couple of the songs are sort of existing ones that I've written I mean one I've written years and years ago and we sort of took it and messed around with it and pulled it into different shapes I mean Love on Repeat I've had knocking around for ages but we never kind of managed to do it justice so I brought it into the rest of the lads and we just knocked it into shape um Starlings was 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 a another ancient one but it, it sort of got um radically altered and 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 when we recorded it in the studio there was literally so many layers of things that Rob, who produced and mixed the um, EP, who's done a fantastic job, he sort of, well, he did most of, most of it, I suppose, he sort of just stripped bits away and highlighted some other bits. So it was, it was kind of interesting, all these layers, different bits got, um, got highlighted at different times. So it, it kind of got put back together again. And so we approach it as a bit of a different beast. Um, Oppenheimer, we, yeah, that was sort of all written together on top of that riff. Um, and and Shattercombs the, the the song um uh we had it as sort of like a little instrumental we had the idea of when we play live we try not to have too much um silence in between songs that sort yeah. of boring tuning up bit <laughs> so we had this little instrumental that different people could join in on depending on who was doing what um and then one day i sort of just said i've got a vocal idea for this and, and it just grew and grew and grew and grew and, and just became this um this immense beast so it's kind of an indication of 
where things are going for the band because that was one where <clears throat> we had a little bit of an idea and we just we just it became this immense beast so more recently has been um i mean to begin with it was it was probably more people bringing bits of song ideas in and just putting them together but um in in the last sort of however many months it's been much more about a collaborative side of things yeah and that's really nice and it's, it seems so like you found work, a producer yeah. that really works with you as well because i mean because you recorded that in yeah. a studio in peckham wasn't it yeah, Rob is um, Rob is a, a bandmate of Neil, our viola player. Um, uh, so they're together in Video Ocean, who are also great. And um, and so yeah, it was sort of one of the suggestions of like, well, Rob does producing, and so we we just sent some tracks to him, had a chat with him, and went in, and it was it was perfect. He's um, He's, he's very on the ball, he's very attentive, and he's very good at kicking us into shape. Um, but also, <laughs> he's good at, he was good at the, the fact we had all these sort of random ideas, and he was quite happy to try them, um, quite indulgent with us. Um, but he, he managed to pull, really pull it all together. He did such a fantastic job, and I think it was good that he, he understood where, how he wanted it to sound. Yeah. So he, he really, uh, yeah, that really got pulled together by him. And, and the mixing, um, for once, which was a pleasure to not have to sit in a room during the mixing because uh, Rob would do the mixing and then send us mixes and we'd sort of say oh can we have a little bit more of that a little bit less of that whereas in in the past it's it's sort of like um after the 50th time of hearing like a two second snippet of my vocal I just want to go outside and, and, and headbutt the brick wall but um <laughs> so it's, you know it's a great working relationship and we are going to go back in with him again to do a second EP when um when they permit us to leave um, our our cages, you know, yeah. and get out, um, which will be which will be interesting. But um, but yeah, for the for the moment, we, we've it's good. I mean, we're lucky we've got something to promote. Mm -hmm. um, so it, and we've got ideas to work on, and so hopefully we'll come out the other side of this kind of galvanised to uh, take the ball by the horns and sort of say, right, yeah, let's 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 get on with it and do more and. You know, we've had a good reaction so far and, and you know it's not been out long yeah. so it's nearly a week old but it, it's you know and like i said positive reaction so it's it's, it's been really really heartwarming that, that we've had so much feedback from it and, uh, yeah. yes. and it's nice as well that you found a producer especially because your music is so layered it is nice mm. that you found someone that really understands that sound because that's quite important mm. Um, I, yeah. I mean, you've got some like music video ideas of how you want to do some of the tracks because I can imagine some of them visually would be awesome. Um, we yeah, we're currently looking into that. Um, we've got um, we've actually got one video for um, Oppenheimer, which yeah. we're, we're not letting loose just yet. We're just trying to work out. We've got a couple of options with that one, mm -hmm. um, and that was filmed by Neil um, while he was um, on holiday in um, in Cambodia. Lovely. As you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and he, he just started taking a lot of footage um, as he was going around, and and, and yeah, um, so he literally just did it all on his phone and and pulled it all together, and and it just considering, you know, it was done for literally nothing really. It's just man hours, and and oh, luckily it was holiday. Um, it looks fantastic, so we'll be putting that out soon. And um, Aaron had been um, on a sort of big long extended honeymoon. Um, at the end of last year, the beginning of this year, um, and he went to South America, so he's got lots of footage. So at the moment, we're all just sort of trying to master iMovie and um, <laughs> yeah. see what we can do, really. But yeah. we're, open, we're open to options, and it just depends how much money's in the kitty and and uh, what we can do. But yeah, the the idea is to kind of get some soundtracky work um, and, and and try and work on a few things like that, which we've done a bit of. It'd be, it'd be great to do a little bit more. Yeah, um, I had a little look yeah. at the um, like the soundscape video that you did on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like yeah. really atmospheric, really cool yeah. soundscape you did. How how did that all happen? Was that working with somebody else? Was that like a collaborative project? Um, I think the soundscape one was just again, it's just footage we've got from from different things and different bits of things we've done soundtracks for. I mean, yeah. we did we we've done the sort of soundtrack stuff so far has all been remote. Um, uh, you know, there's been a couple where. Uh, say Aaron, Neil, and Dermot were around Dermot's flat, and they recorded a couple of bits and bobs. I couldn't get across there, so I just put something together in my studio on the Garage Band. Yeah. Um, and and that seemed to work. So it'd be great to sort of get in and and record um, 
something all together and just sort of one of my favorite things is um is a soundtrack to um it's a film called dead man with johnny depp it's a jim jarmusch film oh, okay. and the soundtrack's by neil young it's um existential existential western <laughs> in black and white. it's 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 better than it sounds um but neil young did the soundtrack and how he recorded the soundtrack was he literally just had the film beaming onto a projector screen in in a studio and he just played the guitar while watching it and came up with all these ideas and it, it fits perfectly um it doesn't feel like things have been edited to, to fit in it just feels like every little beat of it's all weird guitar sounds it, it fits to every beat of the movie like he's watched it so many times and then it's just built up all these little ideas around it so it'd be great to do something like that or a live soundtrack to something yeah and i think that's nice that you can start with an image because it's really nice that's the mm. whole point of soundscaping it's creating around the image and i suppose if you've got it playing yeah. as you're creating it just kind of gets the juices flowing mm. so that's a really good idea yeah good old yeah. yeah so it's so it's it's more than just oh we want to be a band and we want to tour and, and have a good rider with like red skittles in it it's <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like we, we we'd like to things to keep us a little bit more challenged sure. um because we've all been in bands and we've all done that side of things and you get to a certain point where you're sort of thinking oh, right um, I'll have to somebody sort of approach and say i'd like you to do a soundtrack or let's try and do a soundtrack to this let's try and do something slightly different yeah. um sort of it gets you out of a rut really um and you, you don't feel as precious about um what your bands it's hard to put it some bands are very precious about we make this typical kind of music yeah. but it stops you being precious because you're sort of thinking well we've done that now let's try something different let's try something different and, and you don't get precious about doing that particular one thing yeah, um, you're kind of excited. Same album over and over again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's exciting, and I think that's nice that you've been in previous bands, and that's how you've grown as a band because you can take mm. those experiences and build on them. So that's yeah, cool. definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, what can we expect from your balcony session on Saturday? What can we expect from the show? Um, well, my balcony session is just me uh, yeah. because uh, we couldn't. Neil's too big to post. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's just too tall. Um, Aaron, um, yeah, Aaron's. He, he won't be. He, he won't be posted. No, we'll do it. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd be happy with twenty minutes of Neil playing viola. Um, but I've, I've got the pipes, so it's oh. sort of fallen to me. So um, yeah, it'll be. Um, uh, it'll be some. It'll be very stripped down. Yeah. Very stripped down. Yeah. Um, and, and we'll probably involve my studio. Yeah. and some reverb and um and if it sounds good then it'll be a miracle um <laughs> no <laughs> um no i mean it, it, yeah so um no crazy filters a, um nah, <laughs> no filters. it'll be it's in it's in the crazy studio so um ah, it'll makes be, up for it. yeah what you what whatever you can spot in the background That's um really game. and um yeah and i may have some attire uh, and a nice microphone Mm -hmm. um but yeah um so yeah I, I think expect if you like the ep um yeah you'll be getting um a treat mm -hmm. and uh yeah yeah uh i haven't got a smoke machine oh. um <laughs> i'd happily just fill the room with smoke but um but yeah um yeah I, I expect um, a bit of music a bit of dancing and uh some alcohol and, well that sounds uh, you know what we all want so that sounds good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it funny enough we, we were asked um, we were set a, sent a, a set of questions from from one publication and, and it, one of the questions said um what act are you most looking forward to to going to see and i just couldn't answer it because all i could think of uh, and i put it in the answer was i think i speak for everybody when i say that um we'll be happy to see something that's not the inside of our own living rooms <laughs> Yeah, so, um, I am so excited to get back to a real life gig yeah, and really um yeah and just get out outside and and be in a room with people and, and drink um like warm um warm water down alcohol mm -hmm. in a smelly room with smelly people it'd be fantastic <laughs> the dream really yeah definitely definitely yeah. <laughs> oh well Jason thank <laughs> you so much for chatting to me thank you thank it's, you it's been a pleasure I'm really excited to see this set and this dancing and this crazy mm -hmm. studio mm -hmm. because I think we mm -hmm. all Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.